Hi. Under the car. Gotta take this off. This is a uh, uh, dirt, dust, and whatever shield. Yeah, change oil. Let's get on it. Look what I found. That's a magnet that's extendable. <laughs> For picking up tools. When you find them in the bottom of a car, they probably didn't pick up the tool they were after. I didn't see any tools on there. So. Uh, let's continue. Oh, I loosened this. That's a uh, dump. Dump the oil. I'll show you a neat little trick that a Volvo dealer does. At least the one in Tobacco. There we are. There we are. Focus. See that paint? It's a dab of paint. You can get these little bottles that uh, write with paint. Yeah, so that's what that is. If you buy a part from the junkyard, they write the date on it, typically, in uh, this paint type stuff. So, this uh, is to let the, the Volvo dealership know where, or that the, the car has been someplace else for an oil change. Because people have cleaned that off. Uh, before they change it, oh, or put, put it back in. So when it goes back to Volvo and it's missing that uh, paint, guess what? You've been ungrateful. Volvo. <sighs> not trying to be unfaithful to Volvo, but I'm not paying 200 bucks for a damn oil change when I can do it for less than 30 bucks. Yeah, less than 30 bucks. Ugh. <sighs> Well, looks good. It's black. Oh, chunky. What the hell's that? Oh, well, I didn't take the lid off. <laughs> There's a filthy one. made a difference. <sighs> ah. Ah. So this is watching oil drain. Short film by Marty Jackson. So I'm, I've got the oil change, that uh, 
That was a lot of fun changing the filter on that. Uh, you have to take out part of the air breather. I have to use a special wrench on top of it. Uh, and then it all just pours down the side of the motor. What a mess. So it's done. I've cleaned up my mess. I've put the everything back on. I now, I'm trying to figure out the leak in the car, and I figured it out. Here's my uh, window drain from the... Uh, the sunroof and it uh it shrunk it shrunk probably an inch so it's pulled out of the one end so i'm going to go and try and find some uh i don't know about more tube but uh maybe more tube uh if i can find a, a sleeve or something that i can fit inside this three eighths inner i'll uh i'll do that and lengthen it uh about an inch and a half and stuff it back in that hole it'll be a lot easier than taking it all off and doing the whole thing so off to the hardware store to look for this stuff or something that will fit in it and i can clamp like a zip tie or something on it that'll make a difference i i think i found the, the tube i'm going to use I had a, a tube in the shop, or in the garage. Handy keeping that stuff. So I'm, I'm still gonna go to the hardware store. I'm gonna do that now because we need some, uh, well, I need those plug-ins for my uh, wiring hack job I'm gonna do. Let's do that. When I was out, I found fuel stabilizer. Here's that tube I was talking about. That, uh, that's gonna work perfect. And there's my new little bits. Okay, let's, uh, let's get moving. There we go. Oh, good. I stand here thinking I was wearing my safety glasses. Oh, great, I'm wandering around. It's not a life jacket, it's safety glasses. I've gotta cut this. Uh, I'm going to cut it about three inches, so I can put about an inch, half an, this, an inch longer, and half an inch inside. Look, I found a cutting device. Just uh, clean up these little burrs. See the little burrs, and uh, we're good to go. Right down there is where that tube goes. It goes into that black thing. It pulls out of that black thing, unfortunately, because it shrinks. Look what I've done. I've added two inches here, so now I have extra pressure pushing down there, and uh, we're not going to have a problem anymore. I know I don't even need zip ties on this because it is so tight. I can't get it in any further. Okay, problem solved on the driver's side. Okay, so I fixed the one uh, side. I've got the other side to do, so I'll do that uh, tomorrow. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Tomorrow we'll uh, we'll barbecue. I picked up some uh, charcoal we're having mom over uh, maybe Jeff too I'll see if he's doing anything but uh, I looked online I found that there's another drain in the back of the sunroof that goes into the back of the car so that's probably the one that's leaking as well as the one on the uh, on the front so we'll uh, we'll take that one apart and fix it too and just like I did with the one I uh, just fixed, I'm just going to add a piece and uh, we'll lengthen it. it. The only problem is these hoses shrink. So, well, we'll fix them.
Thanks for watching.